Hello everyone, my name is Callum the Kaiser and today I'm going to provide you with a Houdini tutorial. I'm going to be covering the subjects of geometry spreadsheet and also how to create your own custom attributes. So first off, let's just pop in some geometry. Delete this file node and let's get our rubber toy in. Increase the scale by 5. There we go, zoom out. So what we can do is we can debug this by adding a pane. So we can split the pane from top to bottom. So now we have two rubber toys, but we're going to select a new pane type called geometry spreadsheet. So in our geometry spreadsheet, we have a bunch of geometry elements and also some data. So our position and our normals. So we, here we have our points. So our point positions, then our vertices, uh, sort of UVs and the verts, and our primitives. So here we can see our primitives have a shader applied to them called rubber toy shader. And then we also have detail attributes. So the way to manipulate, or not really manipulate, but to de uh, debug what you're really doing inside of Houdini is by looking at your geometry spreadsheet and just playing around with some of the parameters. So if you're really stuck and you don't really know what's going on or something's not working, you don't know why, then your geometry spreadsheet is your friend and he's going to at least try and help you out with what's going on. So as you can see now, my Y value is decreasing and now increasing uh, because I'm translating the geometry on the Y value. And we can also uh, change our normals by dropping in a normal SOP and here we can see if you right click on this we have the point attribute primitive attributes and two vertex attributes so if you go to our vertex you can see we have normals and uvs and that's correct because we have a normal and uv but if we change this to points then we can see that we have two point attributes and only one vertex attribute so if you go back to points then we can see that now we have normals so it's just the debug if the normals are actually correct we can scale it on uniformly and we can see that our normals are changing. Also our X position is changing. So that works really well. Uh, so now that we know what we can look at in the geometry spreadsheet, we can also use this to check uh, our attributes. So what are attributes inside of Houdini? Well, basically they're similar to group nodes in or groups in other similar software or 3D software packages. The thing that's more powerful though and makes them uh, different is that you can store as much data as you want and you can basically set them up uh, however and do a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, so the way to create an attribute is you need a group first and once you've done that you can store that as an attribute. So let me just create a group and I want to group out the nose of this rubber toy. Let's just click this transform and zoom in a little bit and let's go up let's just scale it up and down there we go so now we have our nose selected and we can give this the name nose so we go back to points or primitives in this case uh, you can see that now we have a group called nose and this is all zero because these primitives aren't found within the bounding box. So if we select on group nose, then we can see that these primitives are within the bounding box. And if we scale this down, we can see less primitives are now found. So also less groups will be made. And we can also just set this to point groups and do the same thing. So we have the group nose, select that all these points are found within that group. And same as with the primitives, we can just select that. So uh, once we know what the groups are in the primitive points or the points within that group, we can create an attribute and we select the class point. So now we have a attribute here in our points. We can also just select this to be a primitive. So now we can see we have an attribute one in the primitives and also another attribute one in the geometry spreadsheet. Let's change this back to point. And let's just call this my attribute. So if we give this a value of one and select the group nose, then we can see that whatever is found within the group nose 
as an equal value of my attribute. So my attribute is one and it's also within group nodes. So we change this to two. And we can see that my attribute is changing. We can scale this up and down, give it any value you want. Right now we're giving this a float, but we could also give this, uh, let's say a string. Let's call this, uh, these points are the nose semicolon uh, dollar pt and what dollar pt does uh, it very much shows which points are inside the group so we can see 10,551 and here dollar pt indicates 10,551 so that's basically how you set up uh, creating attributes and using that with groups it's very easy to set it up uh, you can store vectors and do some crazy transformations so right now we can see we have uh, my attribute x y and z so we can give that again different values and then later on down into your massive geometry network you can use these values uh, to manipulate certain parameters or play around with different type of things uh, you can make it a uv and do some weird stuff with it or apply it to the primitive so now we have a vector on the primitive we don't really want to do that probably but uh, this just shows you how you can set up the attribute create and how to debug any issues that you're having uh, using the geometry spreadsheet. So if you're running into any issues, make sure to play around with the geometry spreadsheet, see if it's working or not. Um, if you keep running into issues, then you can just uh, DM me on Slack. Uh, we have a Houdini team in third year, so you can just see this little dabbing guy, that's me, or just come to uh, our Houdini workshops we have a Houdini workshop every Wednesday from 10 to 11 uh, in the silent study room, but in the future we'll probably have it in another location depending on how many people opt in. So you can just opt in every week and just get some feedback and get some help with your work. So if you're uh, struggling with anything, just make sure to pop in into the silent study room. The entire team is there every Tuesday and every Thursday, so you can ask us questions. And if that doesn't work out for you, you can just always just uh, send us a message and we'll do our best to respond to as many of them as possible. All right. Well, good luck with your Houdini adventures. Uh, make sure you keep on trying. It's definitely a fun thing to play around with and you can do some awesome stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye.